Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this filtered crochet mask. I debated whether or not I wanted to make a crochet mask because I know that they're not 100% effective um, according to what they're saying out there for what's best for protection against the virus. And so I wanted to include the filter hoping that would give more uh, protection against the pathogens. And so uh, this pattern is listed down below. This um, pattern I created and was done with a an H an H hook and medium worsted yarn. And there's two sections for this pattern because you have this part, and then I had added this um, interior back part to uh, place a filter or anything that you think that will work for protection. Okay. So um, let's get started. To get started, you're going to slip knot onto your hook and chain 33. And continue on until you have a chain of 33. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One, two. Single crochet into the next three. Half double crochet into the next nine. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. So that's one. So you have nine all together. So nine half double crochet. And then double crochet, that's nine half double crochet, and then double crochet into the next six. So this is double. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, grab the yarn. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two, so that's six, so one. So you have six, and then half double crochet in the next nine. So nine, one. So that's nine half double crochet. You can pause the video if it's too fast or you can make your video go in slow motion and then single crochet in the next four. Okay, so in the next round, you're going to chain one and turn. Then it's kind of a repeat because you're because you're going to single crochet into the next four. So you have one, and then you're going to half double crochet into the next nine.
and then you're going to have to double crochet in the next six. And then you're going to have double crochet in the next nine. And you're going to sing, single crochet in the next four. And then you're going to chain one and turn. And this is repeat. All you're going to do is the same. You're going to do four single crochet, nine half double crochet, six double crochet, nine half double crochet, six and then four single crochet, chain one and turn. Do this for a total of 10 rounds or until it's um, big enough to go around your face. Now you're going to make the straps and it's depending on how tight you need it on the sides. You can do anywhere probably from a chain 15 to a chain 20, just depending on how tight you need it. I'm, I think I'm going to try a chain 15. Once you have your chain count, then you're going to single crochet on the opposite side for the strap. Have your chain count, single crochet, chain one, pull through. Try it on to make sure it fits around your ears comfortably. And then on the opposing side here, you're going to slip knot onto your hook and you can slip stitch here and you can do your chain count. You can try 15 or all the way up to 20. I know with 20 it was too big for me, but it seemed like if I went down a few chains that it was going to work nicely for me. Once you're done, you can weave in your ends. And then I'm going to show you how to make the filter, the liner. So you just weave in your ends a few times on each end to weave in those strings there, pieces of yarn. Make sure it fits nicely. This is for the filter protection and you can use one with cloth or you can make a crochet one. I'm going to chain 12. Once you have a chain 12, you're going to single crochet in each chain across. So work that until you get to the end. You're going to chain one, turn, single crochet in each single crochet across until you get to the end. You're going to repeat this all the way until you get to the end. Once you have about 12 rows, so this is where it ended. This is the the last stitch going this way, so I can uh, single crochet all the way over here. So you're going to have it face this way and have this end where you stop facing this direction. You're not, instead of going this way, you could have it go this way, but I, it needs to be probably a little bit shorter, so this way. You can continue on with your rows if you want a little bit longer here or here. This is going to be the part that will cover your mouth and your nose going to look like this. You can continue on with a few more rows. I'm going to stop here, pull through, you weave in your ends. Or you can leave, leave that as a tail because you're going to need to sew this on. So you're going to need it in the center. You can count over if, you need, if you'd like to have it exactly precise. So you can count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's right almost precise, eight, nine, nine. So right here and right here. 
if you want it exactly in the center. That's how you're going to count it through to make it sure it's exactly in the center. Then you're going to take your yarn needle and sew it in. Now, so it doesn't ruin the front design, you're going to partially weave in the ends on the back so you can't see it in the front. And that's important so it doesn't ruin the design. And you're going to sew it on going horizontally, not vertical because you're going to stick your filter through here. And then you're just gonna weave in here, weave in a little partial here in the back. And like I said, don't go all the way through or you're gonna see it in the front and you don't wanna see it. You wanna make it look presentable. Continue this all the way until you get to this side. You're gonna go here to here and stop because you wanna keep this open. Now you finish this side, you're going to do this on the opposite side here. So you just do the same exact thing. Keep this center open and you're just going to slightly weave it in so it doesn't show on the outside. Just like so. And you're gonna do this until you get to this end and then you're gonna take your ends and weave them in. It's going to go through here and then you're going to do the bottom, I'll show you that. Once you have your center filter pouch here, you're going to take a filter, you can do a HEPA filter, you can do a clean and clear uh, laundry detergent, or laundry fabric softener, or you can do Kleenex. As many as you need. You can place it, you can open it up a little bit more so it really spreads and gives you enough coverage. And then you're going to stick it inside here and then it's going to look like this. And then you flip it over and then that is your front and this is your, of course, back. And then you put the straps around your ears and you're ready to go. That's what it looks like. Okay, so thank you for watching and please subscribe.